Hey, 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 welcome back. So in the last video, we did some refactoring. We split our code into multiple files. So now that we have uh, ha our handlers for our routes for screens and users in two different files, we can actually start to add some more routes to further enrich the functionality of our app. All right, so uh, before we do anything, I wanna like fix two things that I, um, that I forgot to fix. So here in the auth middleware, we need to actually import DB because we need it right here to access our database. And in validators, here when validating uh, user data, we don't check for user.email, we check for data because that's the name of the argument. Cool. All right, so the thing that I want to work on this video is uh, setting a route for users to upload the profile image to. So let's do that. All right, let's create a route here under users route. And it's gonna be a post route. So slash app dot post, and it's gonna to post to slash user slash image. And the function is gonna be called upload, uh, upload image. And let's import that from, oh no, from users. So upload image. Let's actually create that. Let's let's save this and close it. Close this, save this and close this as well. Let's go to users. And here at the bottom of users, let's create this function exports dot upload image equals. It's going to take a request, a response, and an arrow function and it's going to do something. All right. So for this, we're going to need a package called, um, well, there's multiple packages that do this, but, uh, that we're gonna install something called busboy. So in make sure that you're in functions and run npm install dash dash save busboy. All right, so if we look at the documentation for busboy, uh, you just install it and you, in your function, um, ignore this HTTP thing because we're already in a handler. In your function, you run this on event on file and then you handle the file upload and then you run on finish and then you stop the process and you upload your image using whatever library that you're using. In our case, it's Firebase uh, or the admin SDK. All right, so let's do const busboy equals require busboy. And let's bring in a couple of other things. So const path equals and path is a default uh, package that's installed on any node uh, node project let's bring another default package called os so os equals require os another one it's fs which i believe stands for file system all right that's all the imports uh, let's instantiate an instant instance of busboy let's call it uh, busboy equals new bus boy and this takes an options object mainly a headers um, item in it and this is gonna be we're gonna give it the uh, our headers that we got in our request so request dot headers and uh, here let's do our on file event so bus boy dot on and the event name is called file for uh, file uploads and the handler is going to take a couple of things so first one is a uh, field name and as you see here second is file third is file name fourth is encoding and fifth is uh, mime type now don't be overwhelmed by this we don't need all of these we just need i think file name uh yeah file name and mime type uh, but even though that we don't need encoding, for example, we can't just do this because otherwise mime type will have the value of encoding because it's the fourth argument in the handler or in the callback function. So here we need to get the extension of our file or of our image file. So here let's do const image extension. Um, extension, yeah, spelled it correctly, equals. Now let me show you how we're going to extract this. Let's say we have an image file called image.png or not ONG, PNG. We need to get this PNG, or if it's a JPEG, we need to get the JPEG. Uh, what we can do is we can um, 
the problem is we can have a, an image called, for example, my.image.png. So what we need to do is we need to split this string by dots uh, on each dot. So let's do, is it file name? Yeah, file name dot split. And we pass this a string and um, not a string, a dot. And here, we have an array of uh, string uh, of strings. So we're gonna have an array that will have, for example, in this case, it's gonna have the first value is my, second is image, and third is PNG. So we need to access the last one. So here, this is an array. So we need to access the last item, which is gonna be file name dot split by dot again, dot length minus one. All right, so here, this is gonna give us the index of the last item, and then this will give us the value of uh, that, which is gonna be either PNG or JPEG or whatever. So here we need the actual image file name. So let's actually, actually create one. So const, um, what do we call it? Image or image file name. And let's just give it like a random value. So math.random. Uh, times, times, I don't know, 10,000 billion. Actually, we need to round this to get rid of the decimals. So math.round, surround it all in math.round, like this. And we need to concatenate uh, a dot uh, and, and concatenate the extension. So well, let's make this into a template literal string and make this into a variable like this with dollar sign curly braces. Let's add a dot and do another dollar sign curly braces and add the image uh, extension. So an example of this would be like this. So it could be like some random numbers dot PNG. All right, so let's close the template string and let's do a semicolon. And now uh, we need to get the file path. So let's do const file path equals path dot join join and here we need the os namespace os dot temp there for temporary directory because this is uh, not an actual server but uh, and but a uh, cloud function so let's do image we concatenate image uh, file name that we just created and then here we'll create a uh, wait, actually, what am I doing? Yeah, we're gonna need image file name and this object that we're gonna create later. So let's actually declare them. We're gonna need them in a different scope. So let's declare them here. So let's do let image file name. And we're gonna need something else called image. Uh, let's give it a more expressive name. So image to be uploaded. And let's initiate it, uh, initialize it as an empty object. So here we need to actually create this image to be uploaded. So image to um, to be uploaded. Uh, it's an object and it's gonna have two properties, the file path with the value of file path. So we can do it like this and the MIME type. Uh, let's console log these so that you see what these values actually hold. It's useful to sometimes do it. So field name. We don't need file because it's a weird, uh, it's a weird object. <laughs> Console.log file name. And let's do console.log um, mime type. All right, we don't need the rest. We just want to see these values. Okay, so now that our file is created, um, I mean, our object is created, we need to use the file system uh, library to actually create this file. So let's do file.pipe, which is a Node.js method, and we pass it fs.create write stream. Stream. And inside of this stream, we give it our file path that we created. And now this is going to create the file. Now, after this event, let's do busboy dot on. And this event is the finish event. So once this is done, this will be executed. It's gonna have a callback that doesn't take any argument. And here we need to upload this file that we just created. So admin 
dot oh oh we don't have admin we need to bring admin in so here we it bring admin let's go back down so here we do admin uh, dot storage dot bucket dot upload and this takes a file path or a uh, path string called here which is going to be image to be uploaded dot file path and the second parameter or argument is an options object and there are a couple of options but we just need resumable resumable and we give this a value of false and we need an object for metadata which holds and by the way this stuff is in uh, the firebase uh, admin sdk uh, documentations if you wanna i really suggest you look at that because it, it helps understand what what the hell we're doing <laughs> so this metadata holds another object called metadata and we're gonna have a a key called content type did i spell that correctly i did and this will have the image to be uploaded dot mime type all right so this upload function returns a uh, a promise so we chain dot then and i believe we don't need anything from that yeah so we just go like this arrow and here what we need to do is we need to construct the image url to add it to our user so um actually yeah yeah we need to do const image url equals and this will be a template string https colon slash slash um what is it fire yeah firebase storage dot google google apis dot com slash v zero and i'll show you in a second how i know that this is a thing uh, slash v zero slash b slash dollar sign um curly braces to put here what we need to put is if we go to the config file find that we have a storage bucket key so we need this so we need to do we already imported it in this file so we need to do config dot storage bucket and we need to keep on going so slash o slash here we need the image url that we just created no do we need the image url no we need the image file name so image file name and this is why we created both of these outside of this scope so that we can access them here okay so image file name and we is this it no actually we need to chain uh alt this uh url parameter alt media um alt equals media because if we don't uh whenever we access this url without the alt media it's just going to download the file to our computer instead of showing it on the browser by adding this alt media it actually shows it on the browser all right so this is the image url what we need to do now is we need to add this image url to our users um user document um, which is right here so if we go to our database our user here needs to have a key called image url and we'll have this value and so here what we need to do is we need to do return doc uh, no not doc, db dot doc and this document would have so template string the you the path for this document is slash users so in the users collection slash dollar sign uh don't forget that this is a protected route if we go to admin no not admin index so in the index oh i actually made a mistake here so this is a protected route we need to add our um auth middleware authentication middleware fb auth because this is we can't have anyone upload an image to our server or to our storage bucket so we add the middleware here and because we've added the middleware this gives us access to the request.user because when we reach here that means this has been authenticated and we have that user object so here we do request.user.handle which will let us access the document of this user and instead of running get we run update so dot update 
an update takes an object and in each ob object you can do field and give it a value and it will up update that field with that value so here we need to update the field called image url and of course if it doesn't exist it's going to create it and it's going to have the value of image url that we just created here so we can actually just get rid of this and put it like this cool this returns a promise so we already put return let's chain dot then what does this have yeah right result that's useless so we just uh, don't take it and we just go here and here we just return res.json and it's gonna have a message this doesn't matter really and let's say image uploaded successfully cool and of course here we handle the error case so catch error console dot error error and then we return res dot status 500 and with a json with an error error dot code all right one thing i forgot to do actually is that uh, whenever a user signs up by default they should have oops here no not postman here so did I click on postman again? I didn't actually that was a bug. Okay So whenever a user signs up we need to add an image URL right here that will have a An image that has like no face. I mean this I don't know how to describe this this thing. I've already downloaded it I'll put the link in the description So we want by default whenever someone signs up we give them this image and until they upload a new image for themselves They have this and when they upload a new one. They will have the new one so let's actually manually upload this to our bucket. So we go to storage. Uh, I think for you, you will have a blue button here that says activate storage. I've already done that. And let's up upload this file, the no image file. I called it no-image.png. I'll tell you why it matters what I called it. So it's right here. It's in our bucket. Now what we need to do, let's go back to our code. And here, whenever someone signs up, let's give them this image. So after the validation, let's do const image or uh, no image equals that name. So no dash image dot uh, PNG. And here, when we created the entry in the users table, we add the key and users document. Don't know why I keep saying table because of SQL. Okay, so image URL. And the image URL would be the same thing that we had we had here. Uh, where is it? This thing. So let's copy all of this. Let's go back up. Where are we? So right here, S storage bucket. But instead of image file name, it's gonna be no img. All right, and let's add a comma. All right, let's test all of this. It should be working. So. Yeah, let's save everything and let's run Firebase serve. Oh, not save, serve. Firebase serve. Let's sign a new user up. Okay, so this oh, sign up. And here we have um, let's give new at email.com. Password of that, password. Uh, the same thing and oh not password what am I doing confirm password and here we'll have a handle new and let's send this email is already in use is it okay let's do another one so new to and the handle is new to Cool, we get a token that means we've signed up uh, successfully and go to authentication we have new to we go to database and in that user new to there we go we have the image URL and it's that image is the no image and if we copy that and we access it oh we get 403 error and why is that oh okay I know why it's because we in the storage uh, in the database access rules by default it doesn't allow anything and unless we're authenticated 
but we're not using the client library. We're checking the authentication through cloud functions. What we can do here, we can do allow read. So this by default will not allow write. It will only allow read, which is not a problem for us because all the files that we're storing here are just user profile images, which are public anyway. So let's do allow read, publish. And it's published. Now if we refresh, there we go. We see that image. Cool. So now by default, our users have this no user image. So let's actually test if uploading a new image works. So we have this user new to, they have this no image. Let's log in as new to. So remove these two things and change this to login. Actually, we could just use this token. It's the same. Let's take this token. And on the same route, let's go to, I mean, on the same tab, let's go to slash user slash image. It's going to be a post request and it's going to have the header author authorization bearer and we paste that token and here instead of a raw body we give a form data type body and this key let's name it image doesn't matter but let's name it image and here yeah let's change the type from text to file and let's select a file and let's select this user.jpg and let's send let's see if it's actually uploaded successfully Keeps going forever. Oh, okay, I know why. Oops, all right, so here at the end, where am I? Okay, we're here. So after this uh, on finish event, we need to uh, add busboy dot end, and we pass this request dot raw body, which is a property that's in every request object. Let's save and it runs again. And let's send the same request. And it says image uploaded successfully, status code 200, cool. Let's go to our new two. And there we go, we have a new image with a random name. If we go to storage, and by the way, when you click on storage, you go here, file location, and you take this download URL, and you go here, it gives you a URL with a token, uh, with an access token, which you need if you don't have uh, access uh, permission. And if you just remove that and you hit enter, there we go, we get that image. And the same URL is stored, is stored in the database in the user's document. So which one is new to, and there we go, that URL, we copy it, we paste it, and it's exactly the same image, cool. And if we try to, down, uh, to upload another image, let's upload this PNG, send and it's uploaded someone called this image young men instead of young man nice english <laughs> all right so we copy that and we go here and we see the young men <laughs> all right um so the image upload is working successfully but there is a catch here so let's say oh i already created this <laughs> how convenient so let's say we have a text file called hello world and for some reason it takes ages to open a text file and <laughs> it's got the value uh, hello world. We can actually upload this file instead of an image. Text and we upload it. It's uploaded successfully and it's actually assigned to our user image, a text file. And if you don't believe me, if we paste it, we get hello world. That's not uh, very good. So what we need to do, we need to handle that here. And by the way, these are the prints. Uh, we're printing uh, what are we printing? What is this? Oh, this is the, the decoded token. Let's actually remove that. Let's go to FB auth and remove this print or this console log. We save. So if you, as you can see here, we're actually logging the, after the token, we're logging the, uh, the, the name of the field and the name of the file and the mime type. So when we uploaded the text, the mime type was text slash plane. And when we uploaded the PNG it was image dot slash PNG and the JPEG is exactly that. What we need to do here, we need to, in, if the file type is not PNG or JPEG, we don't want to allow our users to upload GIFs or text files or whatever. So what we need to do here is to if mime type does not equal image slash JPEG and mime type does not equal image, oops, image slash PNG, then here we just return an error, return res.j, not 
let's give a status code of 400 bad request dot json with an error message that says uh, wrong file type submitted let's test if that's working we save and we go to postman uh, with the same text file we send call we get wrong type file file type whatever and then if we submit the user.jpg it actually uploads and it changes in our database uh, there it changes to a jpeg cool so that's image upload uh, i know this has been a long video but uh, yeah it's it's a little bit complex to um, handle image upload um, i hope you've learned a lot and i hope you're enjoying this series so far i'd really appreciate it if you drop a like and a, and a subscribe and i'll see you in the next one cheers